everybody, InfoGuru Shop here. I just wanted to share with you um, an interesting article I just came across. And the headline, as you can see, it says, Hush Puppy Extradited to US. And it's an interesting article. It's quite comical, actually, in the sense that it actually has um, the kind of a patwa, you know, the African patwa. Um, language and it's pretty um, interesting and comical and the headline says hush puppy extra extradited to US and it says some other Nigerians were done fierce yahoo yahoo charges for America and it's dated the 2nd of July 2020 and Hush Puppy, as you can see in this photo, and it's got other photos which I'll show you in a minute. Um, is a you know, uh, you could say he's a Nigerian, Nigerian. Uh, well, they say you know, he's a fraudster, but you know, fraudsters are gangsters, they're intelligent people, and if you're gonna scam Yahoo and use email across the internet i'm not sort of uh, advocating for crime but you've got to be intelligent you really got to be intelligent and obviously you can see the bentley behind him and he's you know he's got his hush puppy t t shirt on <laughs> colorful hush puppy shirt um but okay he scammed a lot of people um, with using email and uh, fraud, and they, I'm sure they're gonna get him for um, money laundering and wire transfer, you know, crime. But the, the the thing, really, what I wanted to that I found interesting was that he was in Dubai, and the article says here that Dubai police been announced on July the 2nd, 2020 that the alleged Nigerian froster Raymond Igbal Lodi Abbas and he's got an alias Hush Poppy to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Um, it says recently Dubai police arrest Two wanted, not just one, two wanted fraudsters, Hush Puppy and Woodbury, along with 10 African cyber criminals for one special operation, right? Uh, that's interesting stuff. That's, like, this is a big hit, a big hit. And um, like I said, you know, yes, it's a massive, massive, multi-million fraud scam and big catch these are the big fish you know the big gangsters and mobsters and cyber criminals of nigeria but again i'm gonna say it takes a lot of intelligence to beat the systems of the internet it takes a lot of intelligence and it says here let's go read down a little bit more the interesting thing is that Dubai handed over like 10 of them to the FBI. And it's strange how with the killing of Khashoggi, no one was handed up. Well, okay, they arrested and jailed a few people as a cover-up, but they never really handed over the, the real person who called the shots to have Khashoggi killed and murdered. Isn't that interesting? Yet Dubai handed over 10 Africans or 10 Nigerians. You know, I, I find that hypocritical, really hypocritical. I'm not saying these guys in any way is innocent. I'm just saying it's strange how 
Dubai has not faced any serious legal justice for the killing of Khashoggi. But then Dubai hands over 10 Africans. I find that really interesting and hypocritical. Yes, they have to face their crime no matter what, but it's just the, you know, Khashoggi needs justice too, right? The family of Khashoggi needs justice. But it says here in the article, in fact, he was, um, it says the FBI arrest, hold on a minute, let me just see something here. Right, okay, so it's, it's listing all the different names of the people. The FBI arrest Abindu for 2016, scam thousand, where he scammed thousands of victims around the world. And um, it's written in kind of a pat, so I'm just going to translate it into sort of English. By using fake emails of company executives and vendors to make victims wire big money. Okay, so... So basically he's used fake emails. So that, that means, as a warning to everyone who's listening to this video, when you get, a, when an, when you get an email, you've really got to check it. And if it has anything to do with Nigeria, I would say to you, delete it. I'm not against Nigeria. I love Africa. I love Nigerians. I love all that. But you know what? we got to get this thing where we use this intelligence in a positive way. Just, just like... Everything online has is like the streets. I say it's like the streets. You have good and bad on the streets and you have good and bad online. You just got to be careful. So, also, they've got a... I'm not going to go through all the names, but you've got an Invictus Obi, 32 years old. And, um, aka Invictus... And it says here that he's wanted for like 11 million US dollars, it looks like. 11 million dollars from victims of scamming 11 million from victims. So this is a multi-million dollar fraud ring, scam ring. Very serious stuff indeed. And let's click on this photo and see if we can get it yet. Yeah. It says FBI most wanted Nigerians, Russians, Chinese. So it goes to show that it's not just about Nigerians, it's Russians, it's Chinese. Look, the internet is global, okay? It's global. And if you've got something and people want it or they want to try and target something, it's going to come from all around the world, which you'll be surprised. Even the average small startup has to face this kind of thing. And like it says here, Nigerians, Russians, Chinese. I would add to that a lot of other countries. Okay? A lot of other countries. A lot of countries including Western countries. But here you've got the Federal Bureau of the Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI for America. Something like 79, 79 people on this list. And it's Cyber's most wanted. And it says here the wanted list in Russia is twenty eight the in 28 in Russia, Iran 26, only 6 in Nigeria. So before anyone goes jumping on the bandwagon of Nigerian, Nigeria or Nigerian people being bad, when it comes to the FBI wanted list, there's only 6 in Nigeria that's wanted. Iran 26 in Iran. Wow. Russia's 28. China's 15.